I'm Deidre Ludwig, and we're in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm surrounded by my most recent exhibition, which is titled Primordial and Sacred. This is a collection of work that began a little over two years ago that um, was painted in my studio and also on site. I've been traveling around the world for the past 20 years uh, making observations of not only climate change but uh, change in landscape, change in environment uh, based on nature and I consider my work uh, a visual journal of the observations that I've made in different places around the world that are affecting us today. Mostly wetlands, that's been my focus because the land there is so uh, sensitive, so delicate, and to me it's definitely land that's worth Bringing attention to, we sometimes forget how uh, precious, how delicate these areas are. And we're losing not only wetlands, but forest, um, land to development, natural disasters, fire, also uh, human neglect. We uh, have lost so much land to development. So it's important for me to document uh, what's at stake and what we are losing. I've been traveling on site um, for many years with canvas where I'll paint on site, but I mostly work in the studio. I travel by kayak, on foot. I try to um, really see the very, very delicate, fragile parts of nature that uh, sometimes are a little bit difficult to get to that you can't just drive to. I really want to immerse myself in the environment and then take the information back to my studio. I work with a variety of materials, um, not only oils, encaustic, which is wax and resin, but I also add plant material that I collect. The materials include soil, uh, pollen, feathers, um, bits of plants, um, basically found objects that are natural, but I also mix that in with um, oils and resins. And I include um, elements of land um, as a sense of place. I want that to be embedded into the work as uh, something that's preserved. So it's not just a painting itself, but it's part of the place. And the uh, wax and resin is archival, so this work could very much be lasting and preserving elements that are, that are disappearing around us daily. The effects of what I'm creating now uh, through this work, through this body of work, I feel like this will, um, you know, it'll be looked at hopefully decades later and that's that's another very important aspect in my work. I'm really wanting this to be uh, a reference in time. And uh, I feel like these paintings open doors to um, possibilities of how we can learn that uh, the landscape around us is so fragile. And I'm hoping that this will bring a conscious or an unconscious effect on the viewer of just how uh, fragile the environment is and that it will bring a recognition of what needs to be preserved and what's important. A feeling, I, I want to convey a sense of, of, of meditation in this work also. I want these paintings to have a space that uh, you as a viewer can, um, you can go to these spaces and you can have a meditative uh, place, which is what nature also does for us. And that's really important that I, I bring all these elements together. I spend a great deal of time in the studio also um, contemplating the title of the work. Sometimes that takes me weeks, sometimes months, because that's very, very important how words can um, 
really change the way we view something. So that's also a really key part of my, um, my work. I title um, each series that moves into another, and right now, um, Primordial and Sacred is, um, I believe this is my 30th um, solo exhibition that I've had in my career. And the last piece that I worked on now takes me into uh, a new series of work. But I have devoted all my work to um, elements of nature. And that's my most important role right now as an artist, to also um, be an environmentalist. And through my paintings, uh, hopefully bring an awareness of environmental um, situations that are going on around the world that are global.